Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FrameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. First of all, I'm really sorry. I would like to apologize for not upload videos in last two months. I was busy for some work. After all, I'm back with another exciting tutorial. So let's see what we will create today. This video is sponsored by videoblogs.com. If you ever need for stock videos, after effects templates or motion background, then videoblogs is the best option for you. As a content creator, many times you have to use stock videos for your projects and it can cost you more than your entire budget. But with videoblogs get studio quality stock video for a fraction of the cost. All content on videoblogs are royalty free so you can use it for commercial or personal projects. Click the link in the description box below for more information. Ok let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition, go to composition and then click on new composition and let's call it main and I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration make it 3 seconds then click on ok. Ok let's import our project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below so please check this out. Ok let's create our text layer for this right click here and then new and click on text. You can also use logos if you want. Ok now type your text here. I type in shatter. Then change the color. I am using light blue color. You can choose your own color. Ok now make it center. Ok now go to project window and select this polygon texture layer and drag it into your timeline and put it above the text layer. Ok now change this layer track mat to luma mat. If you don't see the track mat button simply click here or press F4 on your keyboard. Ok now change this layer track mat to luma mat. Perfect. Now select this texture layer and press S to open scale and make it bigger little bit. And then press V for selection tool and change the position little bit. Perfect. Ok now select this two layer and pre-compose it so right click pre-compose and select move all attributes and rename it to text then click on ok ok now go to project window and then select our glass texture map and place it anywhere in your timeline and then right click on this layer and choose pre-compose and select leave all attributes and rename it to glass texture map then click on ok and turn off visibility of this layer then select this text layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for shatter then select this effect and apply onto this text layer Now change some settings, view set it render and then go to shape and then change the patterns to custom and then change the custom shutter map to a glass texture map which we have already created and then change the reputation to 65 and uh, extrusion depth set it 0 ok now go to force 1 and then change the strength to 0 0.50 ok now go forward few seconds and you can see our text is broken into a small pieces looks good to me ok now go to 
physics and then change the randomness to 0 0.40 and change the velocity amount to 0 0.30 and then change the gravity to 0 perfect okay now let's see how our text looks press 0 to ramp with this Wow, it's look really awesome. If you don't like the broken style of this text, then simply double click on this glass texture map and then select this texture map and then make it a little bit bigger. Now you can see the broken style of this text is changed. It's look really nice to me. Okay, now ramp view this. Now it's looking really awesome. Okay, now select this text layer and then go to beginning of this animation. Then go to force 1 and set a keyframe on position. And X amount set it minus 83. Then go forward few seconds maybe 1 second 18 frames and then change the x amount to 958 perfect now select this text layer and press u to open keyframes then select these two keyframe and press f9 to make them easy ease looks good to me Okay, let's add some lights on this text. For this, go to effect and preset window and search for light sweep. Then select the effect and apply onto this text layer. Then change the position of the light and then change the width amount to 1, uh, maybe 122 and then change the swipe intensity to 16. Then again, go to effect and preset window and search for glow. Then select the effect and apply onto this text layer. Then change the glow threshold to 67% and then change the glow radius to 23 and then glow intensity set it 0.6. Now we can see the text looks really nice. Okay now ramp view this. Wow, it's look really nice. Okay, let's add our background. Select the background and place it in your timeline. Then press T to open opacity and opacity set it 40%. I downloaded this background from videoblogs.com. You can also download this background from link in the description box below. So please check this out. Okay, let's ramp view this. Okay, now select the text layer and then go to beginning of this animation and then press S to open scale. Then set a keyframe on scale and make it little bit smaller. And then go forward few frames and then increase the scale amount little bit. Then select these two keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease. Then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this. perfect our animation is ready ramp view this that's how i made the whole project you can download this project files from link in the description box below also don't forget to check videoblogs.com thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a great day